when you hear the word underdog, you might naturally think about athletics or maybe think about movies or just that little person who's undersized or just really um, appears the odds are against them. But I was eager to share this keynote winning as an underdog because I think it relates to business in so many different ways. But even just take those who work in the business force. I never forgot this example. One gentleman shared me years ago that he said he works in a company. He has an office here and next to him, his co-workers office is there. They do the exact same job, but his co-worker went to Harvard and he went to the local college and graduated. But he said he felt like an underdog because every time someone goes into his coworker's office and they just marvel at, oh, you went to an Ivy League school, you went to Harvard. And then they when they come into his office, it's not the same response. But he says mentally that's really affected him and he just feels like he's the underdog and really has to prove himself. And maybe that's you. Maybe you're someone within your work environment. Maybe you feel like, you're being underappreciated or you're being devalued or people don't believe in you. And that's what winning as an underdog is all about is showing you how to rise above that and go from underdog to top dog.